Hello there, again another video on Hitachi storage. This time I am going to demonstrate how to create parity groups or red groups on Hitachi storage using Hitachi device manager and also we are going to assign spare drives or hot spares. Also we will be creating some basic LDFs or LUNs and we will also format that. Those will be further used in pools. You can create pools using the formatted LDFs or you can expand existing pools using those LDFs. By saying that, let's get started. First, log in into Hitachi Device Manager console. Now, I have successfully logged in into Hitachi Storage Manager or Hitachi Device Manager. First, we'll create or assign some spare drives. In order to do that, please click on Parity Groups, go to Drives, click on Assign Spare Drives. One pop-up window will come on your screen. So basically, you can select manually or there are filter options also. We can filter by various categories. For example, I'll give some drive numbers which I will use to filter out. After doing that, click on apply. Obviously, that filter option is completely optional. You can select whichever drive you like. Just click on the checkbox at the left end. After selecting the desired drives, click on add. So now drives are selected. Now you have to click on finish. Next, the confirmation screen will appear. You have to just click on apply and new task will be submitted on the task screen. You have to wait for the task to get it completed. It may take a little bit of time. Yeah, Hitachi storage takes time. I do agree. Now, let's create some parity groups or red groups. Just click on the parity groups on the left side. Now on this window, you have to click on create parity groups. It will pop up a new window. So always select the drives manually. Never do auto select and it is recommended to sprinkle your disks or the selected disk for a parity group across multiple drive trays or disk trays for example if i have four disk trays or drive trays if i want to create a red group of eight disks i can take two from each so by this you will get better throughput so now you have to select the disk type first then select the red level which red you want to create like red six red five and of course here is also filter option is available you can filter by any options like drive box number disk location and many other things i can put some of the values which i require as i have selected rate 14d plus 2p which is in rate 6 so i have to basically select 16 drive after selecting all the drives just click on add and my first red group is added in the selected list you can create multiple red groups from the same wizard just select the disk rate type and of course drive selection will be manual and you can put your initial parity group id as shown in the window at the default level or you can put your desired ids also for example instead of 101 we can put 2 and 1 3 and 1 something like that depends on your architecture and then on your design you should be getting one design document from your architect team once you are done with your red group definitions by selecting the disk, red type and other details, you have to click on finish. Once you click on finish, another confirmation window will appear as shown in the previous one. You have to just click on apply and another task will be submitted. Once your red groups are created, that means your task should be finished. Just come to edit group option from the left side. Oh, basically now we are going to create the basic LDFs. Create on create LDFs option and by default it should be basic you can choose your disk type it's optional you will get all the levels of red here select your free space that means the red group which you want to select you may have multiple over there just select those and select normal format so first time you should always do a normal format whenever you create a red group or parity group now once you select the red groups it will show you the total capacity of that red group and you have to divide that red group in multiple LDFs. So how do we divide that? So the theory is one single LDF, the basic LDF in one parity group should not be greater than 3 TB or 3 terabyte. That means for example if I have 13 terabyte of space in a red group or parity group, I need to create 5 LDFs. So 3 into 4 that means 12 as 13 is greater than 12 I need to put one more. So that means you should divide your total value which will be shown here the total terabyte capacity divide by 3. So I am putting the value of one single LDF and how many LDFs I can create it is prompting it, I can create maximum of 15 LDFs over here.
so basically i needed to create 16 as per my red group size so i have decreased the last value by one which is just one mb decreased now i can create 16 so that 16 value came by dividing by three and you can of course define the cu and ldiv id as per your design so in my case it was starting from 0000, 000, 000 so i didn't have to worry about it you can select the value desired value from drop, drop down list now click on add so all the ldivs for that red group has been selected and configured i'll not say configured just selected as per my desired configuration i can also create other ldivs from other red groups on the same window you choose your red group i mean you can also choose multiple red group if they are of same type and you can provide your single LDF capacity and the number of LDFs you want. Check your CU and LDF IDs. Click on add. Once you are done with your selection and configuration of your primary LDFs, you can click on finish. After clicking on finish, the confirmation window will appear as usual. Check all the details by scrolling up, down and left and right that everything is proper because it will start the formatting of your LDF also. That means your disks on parity group. Click on apply and it will start a new task on your task window and as it is going to do a normal format in our case it will take a long time it depends on the type of disk if it is fmd or ssd it may take less time and it also depends on the size if your disk size is bigger it may take much more time so that's all for this video we have assigned some spare drives we have created parity groups from parity groups we have created basic ldfs and also started normal formatting and once this task is completed on your window, you can expand your pools or create new pools using these LDFs. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.